The precinct's placemaker aims to boost footfall with more immersive activities for all. Despite its historical significance, Singapore River is often not regarded as a top attraction in the Lion City, something that Singapore River, one as arrow, wishes to change. In the next few years, the aspiration is to elevate the river's status to that of the Seine in Paris or the Thames in London. In an interview with the Singapore Business Review, Michel Coe, executive director of SRO, said the not-for-profit place management organization has a four-year plan that will transform the Singapore River precinct into a destination of choice not only of tourists, but businesses as well. The first step in the SRO's plan to improve the business landscape in the precinct is by promoting a full breadth of offerings and activities on Singapore River. For the Singapore River Festival, held in September, the SRO launch activities powered by augmented reality AR. Co. said the SRO partnered with Byte Plus to deliver an experiential campaign on TikTok that brings the first of its kind immersive location-based augmented reality AR in the region. We are expecting this to generate even more user-generated content from visitors of the precinct and as such, greater awareness and traction of the area and businesses. Cole said. The SRO hate also shared that the organization plans to tap on digital platforms to enhance their walking tour experiences. Another project included in the four-year plan is the Singapore Digital Heritage Project, which includes the launching of a digital gallery that showcases lesser-than-known stories of the river from SRO stakeholders. The project also integrates precinct-wide digital wayfinding signs to enhance navigation in the area. Coe said introducing new activities will attract more visitors to the precinct and increase footfall creating a more attractive environment for those who invest, work, or visit the Singapore River. These projects are aimed to enhance businesses, improve property values and create an attractive Singapore River in which people will invest, work, live and visit," Cole said. Whilst these are the more tangible aspects of placemaking, SRO continues to work closely with the relevant agencies and stakeholders to achieve, shift and shape policies that will impact the precinct positively. Cole added. Cole underscored the importance of placemaking to Singapore's 10 precincts, saying, with proper place management, public spaces are enhanced, stakeholders' needs are represented, and destination marketing is taken care of. Since the SRO stepped in as the River Precinct's placemaker in 2012, Cole said there has been fun injection in developments in the area, the redevelopment of Central Square and Central Mall, Canning Hill Purse and CQ at Clark Quay. These redevelopments showcase Singapore River as an attractive precinct to investors, Cole added. Apart from fun injections in developments, the SRO has also implemented projects such as the revamp of the Boat Quay Waterfront in 2016 with the help of the Urban Redevelopment Authority URA. The SRO has also introduced celebrations in the precinct such as the annual Singapore River Festival and St. Patrick's Day Street Festival. According to Cole, the 2023 celebration of the St. Patrick's Day Street Festival attracted more than 20,000 visitors, leading to a 40% spike in the revenue of SRO partner merchants. Recently, the SRO also introduced hashtag Wellness by the River, which is a series of free fitness activities along the Singapore River to amplify the precinct as a holistic lifestyle destination for all. Cool said the collaboration with the Health Promotion Board has, thus far, seen a healthy turnout from the workforce around the area. Our key objective will be to ensure that the Singapore River remains the premier destination for locals and tourists seeking an antithetic Singaporean experience in a place that connects the country's past to the present. Co concluded.